Welcome to Nextar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 Lesson 4 Pages and Tables. In this video, I'll be discussing the Page and Table feature under the Insert tab. We'll learn how to insert cover pages, page breaks, and blank pages, and I'll show you how to insert and draw tables. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to talk about the Insert tab. And the first thing we want to cover is the cover page button. And this button allows you to insert cover page templates into your Word document that Word has already created for you. And to do this, you can just click the cover page button. And um, regardless of where your cursor is in your document, the cover page button will insert a cover page at the beginning of your document. So all you need to do is select whichever cover page template you want to insert um, and click it and it will be inserted into your document. And then you can simply edit this text to fit your needs. You can also create your own cover page template. To do this, first you create whatever content you want to include on your cover page. Then you will select everything that you want to show up on your cover page. And then you click the cover page button, save selection to cover page gallery. Uh, then you'll fill out this block content. Um, you know, you can name your cover page and it'll show up in your cover page gallery click OK. And then if you come back to your cover page templates, uh, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see that your cover page template has been updated to your cover page templates area. The next button you'll want to know is the blank page button. Now this button will allow you to insert a new blank page into your document at wherever your cursor is currently positioned. And another helpful button would be the page break button and this button will start the next page at wherever the position of your cursor is. Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about is tables. So in order to insert a table, you'll go to your Insert tab and you'll click the Table button. And what you'll want to do is drag your mouse across these boxes to the size of the table that you want to add. So this is what's going to determine the number of rows and columns you add into your table. And when you click your mouse, the table will be placed into your document with the dimensions that you've chosen. Automatically, the cells of the table are set to auto. And this means that um, the cells will all start out the same dimension and size. But when you start adding text, the um, cells will adjust to the size of text that you've added. Now, there's also another feature called the Insert Table feature. And to go there, you're going to go under Table and click Insert Table and it'll pull up this little box. And in here, you can um, insert a table and actually specifically choose the number of columns and rows you'd like to add. There's also a feature called Fix Column Width, which allows you to decide the column width um, for the text that you want to use. So if you set it to Auto, um, it will automatically expand based on the text that you have in there, or you can set a specific dimension. Auto fit to contents changes the cell width so that whatever text you place in them will fit in a single row. Um, if the column has no text, it'll appear very narrow. Now auto fit to window will change the table width depending on the size of the window that you're viewing it in. And this setting is really great for if you're viewing a table in web pages since you don't necessarily know the size of the browser window that your web page visitor is using. And once you click the OK button, the table will be inserted into your document. Now another table feature is that you can draw your own table. And um, this is what you'd want to use if you are trying to draw a table that has unequal sized rows or a different number of columns than rows. Um, so what you'll want to do to do this is you'll go to the table button, you'll come down to draw table, and you'll just um, draw a rectangle as the outside of your table and you'll just drag to whatever size you want and then you can use this pencil tool to draw the rows and columns and you can either draw straight down lines or you can draw rectangles to draw um, you know boxes that way and if you decide that you need to erase one of the lines or columns that you've drawn um, all you need to do is come up to this eraser tool click it and um, select the line that you want to erase. And once you've decided that you are done with your drawing table and um, you know it is exactly how you want it to look, all you need to do is come here, click the um, draw table button again, and that will um, set your table 
and you'll be out of draw mode. Or you could also click the escape button. Another really helpful table feature is the Excel spreadsheet. And so if you decide that instead of a table, you want the functionality of an Excel spreadsheet in your document, um, all you need to do is put your cursor where you'd like to insert the Excel spreadsheet, come over to table, come down to Excel spreadsheet, and um, select it. And this will insert an Excel spreadsheet into your document, and you'll have all the functionality of Excel. And one last great thing about Word and Tables is if you come over to Tables and go to Quick Tables, uh, you'll notice that Word actually creates a wide variety of table templates already for you. So if you know that you need a calendar or a tabular list or um, something with subtitles, you can come into the Quick Tables area and see if one of these tables meets your needs. Thank you for joining Nextar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 Lesson 4, Pages and Tables. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.